Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Nini, for those of you that are new here. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be doing something different. Brandon's actually not gonna be starting in this video, um, if at all. Um, I'm gonna be doing a first impression on the insert name here, uh, insert name here, Ponytail brand. Um, I just got it um, in the mail yesterday and I wanna try it on. Um, it comes in this nice packaging and it came with this little baggie so I can, um, you know, protect it and reuse it um, is what I'm assuming. Um, but before we get into that, I'm going to do some soft glam and then we're going to try it on. That's why my hair is kind of like all bummed up, but we're going to gel it up and stuff in a little bit here. So if you'd like to hear my first impressions on this ponytail, then please keep on watching. All right, so I've already um, like moisturized my face, put serums on and uh, primer and stuff. I'm just going to go right into my foundation. Again, we're just going to do a little bit of soft glam because the main point of this video is to do first impressions, but I kind of just wanted to get, you know, have a reason to get glammed up in this quarantine. Thing. I need like every reason in the world to get glammed up. It's just so cathartic and so relaxing. So anyways, let's jump right in. I'm gonna be using Fenty foundation. I'm gonna be using a MAC brush, um, MAC 170. Um, I'm trying to get out of the habit of dabbing on my face with the product. I wanna start using my tools again. I'm just gonna blend it with a beauty blender, turn shooter in the streaks. Just keep going. It's been like a while since I really like have practiced dabbling in makeup. With all of the traveling we were doing, I kind of just stopped buying makeup. And um, the reason for that was because a lot of the countries we were going to had more like tropical weather and stuff. So I didn't see the need to do a lot of makeup. I got um, a lot of new products in the mail and stuff. And I'm gonna be doing like a little bit of contouring in this video as well, just because again, it's cathartic and I'd like to practice it. So now I'm just going in with a wet beauty blender and blending so there are no streaks. That's actually what made me stop using a brush was because I was, I think I just rushing through the process, not um, blending it well enough. I would see a bunch of streaks and stuff still caused by the brush, of course. And I just need to practice patience and blend better. Next, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Locket um, Concealer Cream. Who was that mystery man that just kissed me on camera? <laughs> huh? <laughs> now I'm gonna go back in and bake it with this baking powder called Makeup Obsession. Yesterday I tried this and I put way too much, so I need to be a little bit more careful. I'm gonna go back and start doing my contour. I'm gonna be using the Mocha Matchstick by Fenty. Before I blend that in, I'm gonna wipe away all of the baking powder. Next, I'm gonna do some, apply some eyeshadow. I'm probably only gonna use like two colors. Again, I kind of just want to keep this soft. I'm using the Nervina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to do my eyeliner really quickly off of camera. I'll be right back. Here we go. Next, I'm going to um, apply some lashes. I'm going to use Lily lashes in the style Mink Dona. Doha. All right, so now that we've applied all of our glam and stuff, uh, I feel like I could've did a better job, but oh well, still practice. Anyway, so I'm now I'm gonna try to apply this ponytail. All right, so style your hair, your own hair before applying for the best blend. For thinner hair, try putting your hair into a bun. Uh, make sure your ponytail is securely firm with the hair tie before applying. If you experience any slipping, you need to upgrade your hair tie. So I took my hair out of the ponytail because I kind of want to brush it again and not to make sure it's sleep. I also want to apply some gel. For gel, I'm using Jelly Soft Curls by Miss Jessie's. Um, I love their products. Like The Pillow Soft Curls is probably my favorite product that they make. Back up some. I'm sitting in a different position because my back is starting to hurt. I cannot wait to like move out of like an apartment 
and get like a house where I can have like my own little vanity area and um, like a nice like, well we have like a walk-in closet now but I want like a bigger one. For the dresses that I've made or skirts or whatever you want to call it, I want to like put them in, um, on mannequins and see it when I, every time I go into a walk-in closet, that's like ideally what I'd like to do at some point. <laughs> all right, so now that my ponytail is all sleek in the bun, I um, kind of want to do my edges, but let's start with the ponytail and then we'll style my edges after. All right, so it says on the package, um, if you open me, I'm yours forever. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so again, style your own hair before applying for the best blend. We just did that. For thinner hair, we don't have thin hair. Make sure your ponytail is, um, try putting your hair in the bun. Like, we have already put my hair in the bun. Should I have not put it in the bun? Hmm. For thinner, okay, so make sure your ponytail is securely firm with a hair tie before applying. If you experience any slipping, you need to upgrade your hair. Okay, let's do this. I'm trying not to, like, rip the bag. All right. So, I do have highlights in my hair, which... I'm not gonna lie, I made it difficult to kind of pick like the hair color that I want. Like when my hair is wet, it looks a lot darker, but I have like blonde highlights and light brown highlights and gold highlights. So this is like as close as I was gonna get basically. But when my hair is no longer dry, it lightens up. Right now it's super wet because I just wet it so I can, you know, do a sleek back ponytail. All right, so let's do this. So it has two bobby pins and it was securing it. No, I'm gonna... Oh no. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, I guess it's inevitable, but I don't like that. Some of the strands get stuck to the Velcro. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'm gonna have to untangle this away from the camera so I can do it carefully. like a different person Let's see okay I don't want my bun to be that high maybe it's just that I have really thick hair let's see what it looks like when it's just down okay so I brought my ponytail down a little bit lower because the bun I think just my hair is just too thick for that personally so I left it out and I kind of just tied a little bit at the end of it I'll probably um untie that or undo that like once I install the ponytail. So I, I just took it out of the bag but I didn't really like totally show you guys. the vel um, So this is the Velcro piece that I was telling you about and it does have a little comb right here. Um, this ponytail that I got is called Shayla. Um, it is synthetic hair. Um, it does say on the package that you can apply heat to it up to 400 degrees but please note that if you straighten them you will permanently, permanently lose the original texture and style. Okay, so that's good to know. I, honestly, I don't even, I, I probably would never attempt to straighten this anyway. I probably would just get a second ponytail that is straight. Alright, so I'm just gonna, I've already, you know, sleek back my ponytail as you guys saw earlier. I'm gonna do my edges after. I'm just gonna wrap that velcro piece around that I showed you guys that's on the ponytail. And hope that it comes out okay. Oof, kind of stabbing myself right now with that comb. Hey, I think we got it. <laughs> okay. All right, so for my edges, um, I just used the same gel that I used to like, kind of like sleek back my ponytail. The reason why I don't use edge control is because, and this is personal as, you know, it's, it's, it's just me. Um, I, every time I've used edge control, my, um, it's as almost as though I'm allergic to it. I tried like two or three different ones and maybe I just need to adventure on more on different, on different types. But like personally, on um, both of the ones that I've tried, it's like I, it's like I just have like this red like irritation like around my scalp so I just don't because 
I don't know. I guess I stopped. I didn't continue to venture out beyond that either because each time it's happened, it's kind of embarrassing. Like you can see it and I'm not comfortable covering it with makeup because I feel like irritated skin needs to breathe. So, um, I just, yeah, I just use gel. Um, I, I use the same gel that I used to sleep back my ponytail. Again, it was uh, Jelly Soft Curls. Um, uh, and I haven't had any issues. So that's just, that's where I'm at. And that is why. I kind of want to bobby pin it. And I'm going to use the two bobby pins that came with the, uh, the packaging. Here we go, I found them. here on the side there we go so first impressions I like it I like it for the price that I paid for it's really nice like I probably would bring it up higher next time but actually this isn't so bad so I'm not gonna take it all out again obviously there's a difference between my hair and the ponytail itself um when my hair dries up I already know that um it'll be closer in color. First impressions, I really do like it. I do wish it was kind of like thicker at the top, but that's not a huge make or break for me. I could totally see myself wearing this as long as it's always like this. Like, I just like this look right here. Yeah, I totally like, I'm digging. Hey babe, do you like? I love it, Brandon says I look bougie, but he loves it. First impressions, all good. I know I had some trouble getting it out of the bag earlier, but that's all right. Um, if you're looking for just like a cute, decent quality ponytail, I think this is definitely a way to go. Um, if you need help for color matching, I know they have like consultants available like to chat with. And like if, if I'm not mistaken, you could send them pictures and stuff to help you color match. They actually also have pictures like at the bottom of their ponytails to kind of like tell you what the color is. Cause you know, obviously it looks different on from the internet from what it does like in person. So like this one, they said that it was the color of a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Those, the, those descriptions, those examples really helped me uh, choose the color that I wanted and yeah I think this is close enough especially like with my highlights my highlights are basically this color if not lighter in some places so I like I cannot wait to for quarantine to be over so I can try this out and wear this out anyway thank you so much for watching this get ready with me video slash first impressions again it comes in this like nice package and then it comes with this little baggies um so you can put it inside and kind of maintain your ponytail that way anyway thank you so much for watching this video um if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe again this is totally different from what we normally do but i hope you enjoyed this little video anyway take care everybody bye